The Moonshiner role in Red Dead Online is one of the more traditional Rockstar business type roles in the game, allowing you to open up shop in an official property so you can produce an illicit product, in this case Moonshine, and deliver it to the buyers for underground prices. You can also get into some pretty intense gunfights with revenue agents trying to stop you and your business partners, and you also get the option to embark on an epic journey with fun and engaging characters like Maggie, Lem, and more as you navigate their history of those who have wronged them and set the record straight while simultaneously building your new moonshining empire. And according to a recent YouTube poll of mine, the moonshiner role is still one of players' most favorite roles with content that they find themselves returning to and playing most to this day. And while this isn't a new role in any regards, there is still more to learn about it, especially with the pretty good monthly bonuses surrounding the role. Today on the show, we will be going over all of my top secret moonshiner role tips, tricks, and other strategies that you still may not know about in Red Dead Online. I think everyone has something to learn here. Here, whether you're a new player who doesn't even have the role, or if you're a moonshining veteran, I bet some of these tips will shock you. So let's get into it. If you enjoy this video at any point, or if you just find it helpful, let me know by dropping a like on it. And if you want to stay up to date and in the loop with everything Red Dead Redemption 2 and Red Dead Online, consider hitting that subscribe button with your bell notifications turned on. So starting off, for those of you who are wondering the best recipe, maybe you heard this in my video talking about how to make money with this role last week, but this is sort of related and this is still one of the most important tips we can give here. So it's got to earn a spot in this video. The best recipe you can make right now is the berry cobbler recipe for a couple of reasons. While it is a two star recipe and it's not three star, the three star recipes require the wildflower or antique alcohol bottle collectibles. So you're going to be losing money on that and if you're putting them into your moonshine and while you are making money through the actual moonshine, moonshine sale, you're not making money from the collection sets with the collector roll because you're using those, and so you're gonna have less of them. But that's not the real reason why the two-star berry cobbler recipe is the best. In my opinion, it's the best because the buyer is always available. It's not 100% of the time because there has been at one point, only once since the naturalist update, when it used to be the apple berry crumb recipe that is now changed to berry cobbler where the buyer is always available. Only once since then, I've done over a thousand moonshine sales since then. Only once has the buyer not been available and it just reset. Typically, when you're doing one, two, or three star moonshine and any other recipe, you may return to the shack and you're going to find trouble because the buyer isn't available, so you need to come back later. You may forget to sell your moonshine after that. There's so many problems that can arise. But basically, every time guaranteed, when you sell Appleberry Cobbler as the, your recipe, the buyer's always going to be available, so you can do one of these sales every single hour. So, the best recipe, Berry Cobbler. Moving on to the best shack location. It is hands down the bayou. I really enjoy the bayou location personally because of the smooth trails and the less bumpy rides because that translates to less bottles destroyed during your moonshine transportation, but also the bayou location has very small hops for the deliveries. Just north and south of Saint Denis with one of the deliveries and roads, they're all really close in comparison to some of the distances that you have to go with other moonshine shack locations. The bootlegger missions as well take you to the surrounding areas of roads and Saint Denis in addition to the Braithwaite manor and the gray plantation and so you're really just close to the Legras fast travel there as well now outside of the bayou shack definitely pay attention because you'll also be able to find and collect a few collectible spawns like wildflowers for example there's also some tarot cards on the shack benches and tables outside of the bayou shack location and you'll even find some extra random dig spots on certain days of those collectible cycles so just right there by traveling back to the moonshine shack to maybe get your production started or sell moonshine you're going to be finding more more of these collectibles and making more money. The Tall Trees location is also good, but I think the Legra one is better. Ultimately, it's all your personal decision, but the one I highly recommend you just disregard entirely is the New Austin location. You're down the cliff in the mountain next to the San Luis River, and there's just nothing going on there. I even switch up my location from time to time just for a change of scenery to keep myself entertained more, but I never switch it to that location because it's just so awful, so don't even waste your time on it. As well, an extra tip here, if you're wondering why your berry cobbler recipe isn't 
selling for $453.75 during this double money event like mine is, or maybe your friends, it's because you have not completed all five Moonshiner Roll story missions, which I highly recommend you do anyway, because they're really fun. The storyline is great, and honestly, I enjoy it even more than the Land of Opportunity storyline with Horley and Jessica Leclerc. Now, moving on, on how to rank up your Moonshiner Roll fast if you're just acquiring it. If you just acquire the Moonshiner Roll for this event, here's how you can maximize XP and rank up fast with this roll. You're going to want to make your weak three star moonshine. Weak moonshine will take the shortest amount of time to brew and it only affects the price. But don't worry about making money just yet. Worry about getting the XP to rank up faster. And if you flavor that three star moonshine, that gives you the best XP for the moonshine roll. You can sell by driving fast in cinematic mode. You can speed through revenue agent checkpoints by aiming your weapon with L2 behind you, which then keeps you and your wagon in auto ride mode. You can shoot the enemies behind you if they follow you. And if you stray from the yellow path, be careful because that's going to ruin your bottles and that's going to give you less product and you're going to lose XP that way. But auto riding with cinematic mode or L2 with a weapon is a safe bet with the exception of a few hairpin turns and bumping bumpy railroad crossings things like that. Now, if you lose too many bottles before you reach the seller, you can close and reopen your application and try again, but be careful because once your moonshine wagon is fully destroyed, that strategy doesn't work. Help others with their sales as well. Also, in between your moonshine sales, do moonshiner story missions, events, free roam content, especially like the bootlegger missions, which have a 15 minute cooldown by talking to Maggie for even more XP. The bootlegger missions, other than sales, is going to help you get a ton of XP for the roll. Now, let's just talk general tips and helpful information. A collectible is worth four times more in a moonshine recipe than in its collection but again the buyer isn't always available so over time you will be losing money adding those collectibles the large still for the moonshiner roll will give you 200 plus dollars per delivery and you have to buy the medium still before you can purchase the large one so keep that in mind looting revenue agents will also give you collectibles and other moonshine ingredients if you hog tie a revenue agent to your horse and have it follow your wagon you can actually prevent any more agents from spawning you know this is more useful for trader deliveries for example with the enemies that spawn there because the moonshiner deliveries are kind of short but that options there another tip every three star recipe requires one collectible so you can use that collector map to find those specific collectibles if you want to do that three star moonshine also delivered to a requested buyer will give you 1100 moonshiner xp so that's how that can help you maybe plot out how many sales you need to do before you fully rank up your role you can times up at the amount of time you take and you'll be able to understand how long it's going to take for you personally to rank up the moonshiner role to level 20. if you alert rival moonshiners on a mission use volatile fire bottles to immediately destroy their still a normal fire bottle won't do it but you can also just blow up the still with three shots of a shotgun. Maggie also sells useful things like toxic moonshine for $5 each. She has a pamphlet for it for $500, and she also sells a jug of flammable moonshine for $20 per jug. For your moonshine operation, she also sells two condenser upgrades for $825 and then $875 for better quality moonshine. And everything else she sells is just aesthetics for your bar. If you have a bar and patrons, they just provide no benefit besides fun and looks. It's just purely cosmetic. But you can get a few daily challenges done that way, so you can get some extra gold. But you don't make money through the bar. Toxic Moonshine can damage players through walls even if the poison mist and the fog isn't available. So if you're in a PvP situation, maybe try that out for some trolling fun. And the wash barrels around the camp and the Moonshine Shack are there so you can sober your character. You may need to use it twice if you're extremely drunk. Coffee and almonds are also found in your Moonshine Shack and those sober your character as well. So if you are drinking before you go out and drive your Moonshine Wagon on a sail, make sure you sober up. Otherwise, your wagon's just going to steer itself off the road automatically. But those are all general tips and useful information. We talked about Moonshiner deliveries, how to rank up the roll fast, the best shack location, and the best recipe in this video. With all that said, that's all we have time for today. Thank you so much for watching this Moonshine Roll Secret Tips Guide, just to help those of you who need help and help you guys nudge you guys in the right direction. But hopefully you all enjoyed the video. And if you did, hopefully I earned your like on it. And of course, if you are new to my channel and you want to stay up to date with all the best Red Dead Online and Rockstar Games content, consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out on a single thing we post here on the channel. We consistently talk about updates, news, information, tips, tricks, and even leaks, and we'll keep you guys updated here on the channel daily. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you'd like to follow me over on Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram, those are the best places to get connected with me outside of YouTube, and you're more than welcome to ask me any questions on those platforms. You can follow me at HazardousHDTV, and all of my social media links can be found in the description down below. That being said, thank you all so much for watching, everyone. Hope you all have a fantastic day, and I will see you guys in the next Red Dead Online video. Adios, amigos.